there is a new research AI agent from Moonshot AI, Kimi Researcher, which is an autonomous agent that excels at multi-turn search and reasoning. It is powered by Kimi 1.5 model and it has been trained end-to-end -end agentic reinforcement learning. So this particular mod, uh, agent achieves 26.9% pass one accuracy on humanities last exam and a 69% pass on XPinch. So they have this blog where we can go and discuss more about Kimi Researcher. So Kimi Researcher is an autonomous agentic and thinking model designed to solve complex problems through multi-step planning, reasoning and tool use. It leverages three main tools, a parallel real-time internal search tool, a text-based browser tool for interactive web tasks and a coding tool for automated code execution. So you can access this particular agent on kimi.com. You have to just, uh, you know, enable researcher. First, what you need to do is that there is a wait list for, you know, getting access to this researcher. Go submit uh, your credential, your mail ID and other things in the wait list and wait for them to give you access. So I got the access in, you know, you have this join the Kimi researcher wait list, right? So I got the access in uh, close to two days. Right. So now you can put your research question and you can get an in-depth research report. I have tried this Kimi researcher agent on three use cases. The first one is I want to, you know, create a patent landscape report. So the idea is that in my regular job, what I used to do is that I used to work in the healthcare space and we wanted to do some innovations in various areas of the health, uh, healthcare domain. So what we do is that we pick up an area and then we do a patent landscaping report where we try to identify what are the innovation opportunities, what are the patents which have been filed in this particular area, who has filed it, and what are some innovation opportunities. So that's the exact query I'm asking over here. I am asking like I intend to develop a wearable ECG patch for early detection of heart diseases. Give me a report of patents in this area. Also highlight what are some innovations in this area where there are opportunities for filing patents look at patents since last 20 years. So then it asks me to provide a comprehensive report on wearable ECG patch patents and innovation opportunities. Could you please clarify a few things? Are you interested in global patents or focused on a specific country region? Example, US, EU, China. Should the report focus only on granted patents or also include patent applications? Are there any specific heart diseases you are targeting? Would you like to uh, would you like the report to include academic and commercial innovations beyond patents? Do you have any preferred format? So I say that global patents, applications and granted patents, all heart diseases. Yes, a combination of all. Okay, in the preferred format. And then it says that great, I will compile a global report on patents and patent applications related to wearable ECG patches for early detection of heart diseases covering the past 20 years. This will include both granted patents and pending applications. I'll also highlight key innovations and areas where new patent opportunities may exist. I will let you know as soon as the report is ready. And it starts preparing this report. This report took close to 20, 25 minutes for it to generate. Okay. So then it makes use of the internal search tools and it searches like heart disease detection, patent, patent application, wearable ECG technologies. I realized that my initial search missed some potential sources. So, you know, with patent application, wearable ECG technologies, it searches how to retrieve Google patents research, you know, research data. Then uh, it searches for any patent landscape uh, from GitHub. Is there anything available already? Right. Uh, I'm clarifying the definition of e wearable ECG patches. Then it talks about, you know, uh, heart disease detection, right? It does all these things, right? And it looks at market research reports. It looks at Google patents data set. Uh, you know, it talks about various companies who are doing innovation. And then finally, it creates a report for me. Okay. So the thing is that uh, what I've realized is that uh, there is no download option over here for this text which is generated. So you have to copy it if you want to make use of it, right, which you would want. So you have to copy it. A download button would have been nice over here. It also creates an interactive page based on this report, right? Uh, and we can see the interactive report over here. Uh, so it has prepared a very good report of all the companies which have worked on this particular area, where is the geographical distribution of patents. So this is the final report, how it looks like the interactive report. It says a comprehensive analysis of last two decades of innovation in the wearable ECG path technology for early heart disease detection. So it talks about analysis, this thing. Uh, you know, even though some things are like there in the how the way in which this report is formatted, but yeah, it talks about what are the key findings. AML integration dominates innovation, multi-led configurations, key focus area. US is the lead patent activity with global competition, 56% increase in patent publications. It creates an executive summary like this. You know, 56% patent growth rate in this particular area. 
close to more than 1,225 peak patent filings, highest number of applications filed in 2022. Then he talks about what are the innovation timeline. Early 2000s, you have foundation of wearable ECG technology, basic monitoring capabilities, integration of wireless connectivity, early AI applications, 2010 to 2015. What is the current one? Sophisticated AI ML integration, 12 led synthesis therapeutic capabilities. Then he talks about technology overview from holter to wearable patches. What is it? Um, then one design of modern ECG patch design, key technological components like advanced electrodes, power management, data transmission, and early detection is very important of heart diseases. Then it talks about patent landscape analysis 2003 to 2023. What are the patent filing trends, peak activity, who are the key patent holders, which companies, geographical distributions of these companies, right? Uh, these patents, key insights. Uh, then it talks about technology focus areas. Most of them are looking at diagnostic measurement, multi-parameter analysis, AI diagnostics. So key innovations and patentable areas. So patentable areas, what where you can still do, you know, multi-led configurations. How do you get 12-led synthesis, 18-led uh, synthesis, signal processing, AI ML integration. You know, how do you bring in deep learning models, predictive analytics, and explainable AI? Then enhanced electrodes, biocompatible materials, signal processing, wearability, data security. So emerging innovation is next-gen materials for your patches right ecg patches opportunities for patent filings and commercialization like what are the unexplored areas or underexplored areas specialized ai algorithms for rare arrhythmia detection early cardiomyopathy markers electrolyte imbalance detection explainable ai for clinicians it's actually done a very good uh, you know a report for somebody who works in this area to look at it and then start you know looking at where they can explore it talks about competitive environment and market context Right, what is the market size? What is the competition looking like? Who are the key market players and IP strategies? And uh, you know, who are specialized innovators who are specifically working on this particular domain? What are the market drivers? Right, rising CBD um, uh, prevalence. Uh, what are the market challenges and conclusions? So it has done a very good report over here on a global patent landscape analysis. This was something which we do uh, used to do it manually or outsource to specialized agencies who are looking at patent landscapes and creating these reports. This makes our life much more easier now. So I'm quite impressed with this particular report from Kimi Researcher. The next query which I asked over here was about, you know, uh, explore AI agent landscape and create me a comprehensive report of all agentic frameworks, platforms. Give out, give out the clear benefits of each framework versus consequences. It again asks a set of clarifying questions like, are you looking for frameworks and platforms specifically for building AI agents like Autogen, Langchain, or do you, uh, are, do you want to coverage of end-to-end -end agent platforms like chat gpt gemini cloud should the report focus on current widely used tools also include emerging or experimental tools are you interested in any specific application domains would you like to report to include comparisons in table format for easy reference i said all of the above again took some close to 20 25 minutes uh you know it uh did search on a lot of things and then it created this particular report okay and it also creates an interactive report so the interactive report looks something like this uh, so it talks about ex an executive summary, you know, what are the key findings? Uh, then it talks about overview of AI agent frameworks like Langgraph, Autogen, Crew AI, OpenAI, uh, Agent SDK, Google Agent Dev Kit. So it talks about that. It does a, you know, comparative analysis of that. And then it goes into detailed framework profiles, details of that with references, right? Uh, then it talks about what are the emerging uh, frameworks. Um, then it talks about overview of AI agent platforms like ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, detailed platform profiles, their pricing and other things, this tabular data is available. Over here also, it has created a good report, I would say. Okay, but maybe it has missed out on some AI agentic frameworks like Agno or some other things, but uh, yeah, this is a good report over here. Okay, so it talks about, you know, AI agent frameworks, what are the issues with it, uh, you know, end-to-end -end platforms. Well, you know, it's like a comparison of framework versus platform performance and scalability, cost and pricing models. So it has created a good report. I don't see a download option for this report. That would be nice. So currently I have to just copy this report into a Word document and then, you know, I'm not able to directly download it over here. I can only copy it or share this interactive report. That is what I'm seeing over here. Another thing which I gave was about, you know, give me a portfolio of nifty hundred stocks such that I can achieve 50% profits over next three months. So this 50% returns is kind of impossible to achieve. But then it asks like, what is your risk tolerance, conservative, moderate, aggressive? Do you have a preferred sector or theme? Do you, what is your investment capital range? So I said aggressive, no preferred sector. One crore is my capital range, short term trading. Then it started doing a lot of analysis, uh, you know, searching. It used browser for search tools. It used its uh, browser search again, search tool, internal tools. It made use of, right? Because what they're saying is that this particular thing has 
a search, uh, internal search tool, a text-based browser tool, and a coding tool for automated code execution. So the code execution is finally what it uses for creating this particular interactive web page. So it went and finally it created uh, again a report, okay, where the key takeaways are 50% returns in three months are exceptionally aggressive. It's not going to happen, it requires concentrated high risk of substantial loss, and these are the data sources. And then it tries to create a portfolio over here. And it also talks about risk reward framework, position sizing, stop loss orders, risk management framework, illustrative allocation strategy of the portfolio. And then it talks about, you know, stock selection methodology for the portfolio consideration. It talks about intraday trading strategies, option trading strategies, leverage and derivatives, uh, strategic consideration for high returns, right? What is the market reality? How much is uh, historically three month returns are typically in single digit percentages. I deliberately asked 50% over here to see what kind of it gives. So it kind of gives you a report over here, a deep search report. Okay. And uh, it has browsed a lot of sites over here. And then it is like pivoting in different things. It does multi-step reasoning over here. And then it comes up with this interactive report. So these were some queries which I tried. You can also apply for this researcher wait list. And I'm not sure what is the number or what is the limit once you get access for queries, because I don't see any options over here for any subscription or something. So I think uh, currently, once you get access, it is available free for you to do your research tasks. I don't see uh, any limits or anything which has been mentioned over here. Okay. So this was about Kimi Researcher. What they are saying is that this particular agent was uh, built on internal version of the Kimi K series model and trained entirely through end-to-end -end agentic reinforcement learning. That is what they are saying over here. Further uh, details are present over here in this particular blog. So you can check that out. Uh, you can read through this to understand more about what is the training data they have used, how they have done reinforcement learning for this uh, creation of this research agent. Uh, right. Uh, and what they are saying in the end is that, uh, what is interesting is that to facilitate more research efforts, they are planning on open sourcing the base pre-trained model as well as the reinforcement learned model underlying Kimi Researcher in the following months. That would be good. Okay. Um, that would be good if these models are released in the future um, for others to build their systems on. So they have presented some use cases over here. You can check out these use cases. Some are clinical evidence review, corporate financial analysis, obscure information retrieval, academic research, legal and regulatory insights. So this research agent is currently available, free to use, provided you get access. You have to join this Kimi Researcher waitlist and once they give you access to this particular um, uh, agent, you can actually try it out. So that's good to know. So this was a short video on Kimi Researcher. Hope this video is useful. See you in another.